to come. Tiff's on the limit in the brand new Aston Martin Rapide. And I test the Rolls Royce that thinks it's a supercar. Rolls Royce isn't the only iconic British car brand, of course. There's James Bond's Aston Martin, and such is demand for new models that its latest car has to be built in Austria. So, is it any good? Here's Tiff. The last Aston Martin I drove made me literally jump for joy because the V12 Vantage is perfect. Almost. Trouble is, it's a strict two-seater, so there's only room for one mate to come along for the ride. Now, though, Aston Martin have a solution. The Rapide. The latest Aston Martin is a four-door, four-seat, £140,000 car where metal looks more like muscle. It's yet another stunning model from one of the greatest British brands. All the doors have this clever swan mechanism which lifts them up as they open, which not only allows for an easier access, but makes sure they don't ground out on high curbs. Now, Aston Martin claim that the Rapide can comfortably carry four adults. Question is, for how long? Well, after just a few minutes back there, I'd had enough. It's good enough for going down the pub. But well, that's about it. Oh. The Rapide 6-litre V12 produces a warehouse full of velvety torque to suit its cruising character. It also produces 470 horsepower, plenty for the country lanes, but it means we haven't got as much power as Aston's out-and-out -out sports cars. The other thing we haven't got is a manual gear change option, so I have to use the automatic. However, as soon as you touch that throttle, it soon kicks down and launches you forward. Whoa. This is my kind of engine. No superchargers, no turbochargers. You can't beat V12 Classic Orchestra. But the biggest revelation for me with this car has been the ride quality. In order to get these extra seats in, they've had to stretch the wheelbase out. Now, normally that means they reduce the torsion or rigidity, which takes away some of the sharpness of the handling. But the sharpness is still there, and yet the car isn't as stiff as a plank. Yes, it's got windows which raise further into their seals the faster you go. And yes, the 1,000-watt stereo alters its sound according to the number of passengers. But forget the luxury and refinement, Aston are still adamant that this is a proper driver's car. There is, however, one small problem. The other new four-door, four-seat supercar, the Porsche Panamera Turbo, is £40,000 cheaper, more spacious, and the Porsche is quicker to 60. But despite that, we asked the Panamera to leave the premises. For once, I'm not going to be swayed by the traffic light bragging rights, because this Aston sounds better, handles better, and makes that Porsche look like a humpback whale. 188 mile an hour, V12 heaven. And a chassis that renders you speechless. Dumpf, dumpf. Oh. Really speechless. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> Look, I can flick this around like a little tiny sports saloon. I am genuinely amazed at how well this car handles. I mean, this is nearly two tons. Flappy paddles doesn't change down quite as quick as I want it to. But once it has changed down, we're away. OK, that's an elegant, wonderful sports limousine. And if you're going to spend your time in the back seat, it might be a bit of choice. But if you're sitting where you should be, up here, there's only one choice. The Aston Martin Rapide. And I can do the school run in it. <laughs> <laughs>